Hey, what's up, everybody? Be welcome to the Skyrim Monsters episode 73. And I told you that this time I will show you what mods I'm using in my game. Every mod that I'm using right now. And I won't show you everything. What you will see here is um, my game in the background, a little kind of a not a benchmark but you see how my game looks like and so on and on the right side there you see a PDF file it was the most work actually and there is sorted every mod that I'm using in different categories with the name of the mod the author and the link which you can simply click in your PDF whatever program you're using I guess Adobe PDF reader or so our acrobat reader it's called I think yeah there you find every mod and at the end there's my Skyrim prefs dot any and um, yeah that will hopefully be pretty useful for everybody of you and uh, there are just a couple of things that I'm pointing out because for example I don't need to show you every armor you have there a list you can click on the links and then you see which armor it is I don't need to showcase 20 armors here that would be a waste of time but like I said on the other side I want to point out some things for example here the texture pack combiner which I am using and I guess I need to redo it because it now um, supports many many more optional files so you see here that you have here three main files that you will combine with the texture pack combiner and then there are a lot of optional files which you can download and combine with this tool to make one big very cool texture pack that will make your Skyrim much more awesome than it actually is right now um, keep in mind this if you really wanna have Skyrim to look like mine then you need a really really powerful computer I'm recording right now there in this scene with about 26 frames per second so I'm playing with about 40 frames per second or so in 1920 on 1080 and this is this really 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 a lot of stuff that I'm using um, it's not the, the amount of mods I guess um, but the <coughs> yeah the, the single cost of the most mods that I'm using like this huge texture packs with the texture pack combiner which are I think the main files are already 3.6 gigabytes of additional textures that have to be loaded into the game. Um, beside of the texture pack combiner, another very um, important mod to get this look is the Vibrant ENB. With the uh, I'm using, you can see here I turning I turn on and off the ENB. The difference is immense, it's huge. And uh, the Vibrant ENB with shaders. And I'm using here the best version that is available. If you download the Vibrant ENB, you will have a folder. And in this folder, you will have the choice between shaders and no shaders. I'm using the shaders version. And in this shaders or no shaders version, there is also. Um, I think four different uh, different versions um, regarding the performance and I'm using the best so the shaders with the best um, available file whatever <coughs> so that match uh, to this this are actually the two main things you need uh, the wiper DNB with all the suggested mods that are on the mod page like um, revamped exterior fog I think and um, further dark dungeons and uh, yes and a lot of HD texture packets and then it actually looks already like this and then I have this stuff like uh, new animations it's everything listed in the PDF file I have uh, retextures of different armors uh, which are not included in the 
uh, texture pack combiner that's something separate and I have this new weapons and all that stuff uh, the sky UI that interface <coughs> that new interface the um, overalls um, categorized favorite favorized no categorized Favorited categorized menu that some that sounds pretty weird, but you know what I mean I have for example that little timer on the loading screen uh, can mods uh, Timer on loading screen or so it's called a lot of uh, Yeah, a lot of very small things, but uh, really the huge things are this uh, vibrant ENB the ENB itself so and all the texture mods and the I <coughs> shall not forget it. The optimized Skyrim perf study. I improved the shadow, uh, no, the shadows a lot, and the um, distance that I can see stuff and so on. And uh, that is actually the three main parts. And then you have this tons of mods in the PDF file, and uh, that shall help you. Um, like I said, it will get you see on my channel what. Um, computer I'm using and then decide if you can run it or what of the stuff you want to use and uh, yes I hope that helps you a lot getting your Skyrim more awesome I thank you guys for watching hope you enjoyed the video if so please uh, click that thumbs up button beside of that leave a comment and subscribe to the channel and I'll see you guys next time